my freedom freedom pop came in today the modem for the uh, wireless access the 4g access uh, users I think right now it's uses utilizing the WiMAX uh, network um, but uh, let's see what it looks like here uh, let's see the box there it's uh, it's just a USB cable AC adapter quick start guide ultra compact size six plus hour hours of battery time Wi-Fi for up to eight devices but uh, let's just see what we can get here okay it's a very nice packaging I like the box and it comes in a little box just like almost like Apple packaging nice job it's a small little puck here it's not very big it has an internal battery and it uh, looks like it's charged by a, uh, I would assume it's micro USB. And power button, Wi Fi, light, 4G service. We'll see what that's like. Um, the instruction manual in there. Let's see what we get. Uh, come on out of there. All right, so we get uh, yeah a USB charging gadget, and then the uh, micro plugs into this to charge it up, and this is all that takes. Uh, as soon as I plugged it in, I saw the power light come on and it started to charge. So right now I'm going to give it a full charge before I really unplug it and use it uh, free. Let's turn the power on, see what happens here. See if we've got any 4G signals. We have to hold it in. There we go. Okay, now I still have two blinking. I got the 4G blinking red. Oh, now it's going to blue. And the Wi Fi is blinking green. And now we're blinking blue. And now we are solid amber on the 4G. And I assume the green for the Wi-Fi is going to stay that way until I register the device to a to a computer. Okay, on the iPad I have entered in the password that was on the bottom of the modem. And we are connected and ready to go. Okay, we are connected and ready to go. Let's do the first thing we're going to do. Let's just do a speed test here. Let's see what we pull up on this. Finding the closest server. Let's begin a test. This is testing the 4G that's going to be hooked up to the WiMAX here in the Cincinnati, Ohio, just north of Cincinnati area. We've got a ping time of 205 milliseconds. Download seems to be working. We're not exactly zooming along at any kind of 4G speeds. We're connected somewhere in Cincinnati, and we pulled up a download of 0.66 megabits per second, and the upload is 0 0.02 megabits per second. Can't say that we're screaming along at any kind of 4G speeds right now.